Well, Jessica's obviously been through so much throughout the years, and even like the past six months have been pretty rough on her. Is she going to have an easier road for the rest of the series, do you hope? Or? Um, I, I don't hope that she does because um, it's always, you know, it, there's always this big joke that um, you, you never want your character to be happy because then it's boring and you never work. So uh, I like to work. And um, and you know it's it's always more fun to play the dramatic. So so no, I hope there's a big, I hope there's tons of drama for Jessica. Well, what's great. been your favorite dramatic moment that you've done so far? My favorite dramatic moment, you know, I wouldn't say it was my favorite, but it was um, definitely one of the more interesting and challenging moments was when Nash died. I mean, I didn't want to say goodbye to Forbes because he was wonderful and. You know, I think it was one of the most touching moments for me on the show because, you know, Jessica had to like talk to him when he was dying and it was yeah. Forbes' last day and it was, you know, we had been through a lot together and he was just a great friend and a great guy and so, yeah, that was interesting. It was a really interesting, weird time for me during then, so yeah. I said Jessica obviously off on a... A spiral after that. Yeah, which was you know was was the was the catalyst to something crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So looking back at all your time, what are you taking from One Life to Live? Um. So what am I taking away from One Life to Live? <laughs> it's hard to answer that because I've been through so much. I've been here for a long time. I was just saying that when I started, I was a lot younger and single and you know moving to New York for the first time. I was moving to a different country, you know, from Canada. And uh, now I'm a mom with a married mother, and um, yeah, life just has changed a lot. So, you know, I'll hopefully take away really great friends, like almost family, and uh, just a really eight years of like amazing work experience and just an amazing, wonderful time. Well, Jessica has changed so much since you've taken over the role. Yes. Are you kind of hoping that she does get? to be with Ford? Are you hoping that she ends up single? Or are you... you know, people always ask me what I want from my character, and no matter what I could think of, I think they they always write something better. <laughs> so um, so I'm just going to leave it in their capable hands. What has it meant for you to be a Buchanan on the show? Because obviously this has been such a, the lore of the Buchanan is such a legacy for the series. What was it like to be a Buchanan? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it meant that... It meant that I got to be... Um, up first every day with Erica, which was great. It meant that I got to work with Erica a lot, which is really, really great. And I hear a lot of actors disappointed that they don't get to work with her as much. And I, I have a, I've, I've had a really uh, great relationship with her, and uh, and it's been great. So that that has has been amazing. And Jerry, you get to have Jerry Verdorn as my dad, which is pretty awesome. So um, so yeah. Looking back at Jessica's relationships, is there anyone that stood out to you as maybe Jessica's true love or Jessica's best love? You know, they're all pretty great for different reasons. I'm not going to lie. You know, Kamar, who played Antonio, was my first, you know, partner on this show. And um, he was the longest, and, and that was... I'm still friends with him. He's great. Um, you know, Forbes March, who played Nash, he was wonderful. and. And you know, um, it was just a different time for Jessica. And I mean, to end now with David Gregory, we laugh so much. I'm having so much fun with him. So it's not fair to pick a favorite because I think that both Jessica and I have been different during each different love interest that I've had. Um, and, uh, and, you know, I couldn't be ending it on a better note because I think that David Gregory is the, the berries. He's pretty awesome. So I'm pretty lucky.